This is Matthew Lyman, your host of the Landlord Advocates. The video clip that you are about ready to see is graphic. Viewer discretion is advised. What you just witnessed there was the vicious, cowardly attack upon a 72-year-old grandmother by a tenant. A legend attack. I hate using that word, a legend, but we have to. You saw the woman tumble down the stairs. And that happened to her on July 6th, 2023, after this, she was put into the hospital. She remains there 10 days later. Her right arm has minor injuries, hard to move. Her left arm has multiple breaks. They could not operate until the swelling went down. She has multiple broken ribs. She remains in the hospital until those are operated on. She will not be released home from that hospital. She is going to be released to a rehabilitation hospital for an indefinite time frame until she heals. In the meantime, the attendant who allegedly did this to this grandmother, during the laws of New York State, was released from being arrested for assault shortly thereafter to go on home and have dinner with her boyfriend. The next video clip that you see is related to the first. It is raw callousness in what you will see. Again, real discretion is advised. What you saw in that video clip was her boyfriend carrying a baker's rack around the victim who is now sitting up on the floor, taking that baker's rack to a vehicle. And then you saw him coming back into the building, texting on his cell phone, walking around the victim on the floor who was in a daze and in severe pain, as if she was the corner of a table that he did not want to hit his hip on. Now, we have had relationships with these tenants before. How was that? In 2018, our office evicted those tenants before. The gentleman that you saw in the video told you was truly that he was going to cause physical violence towards me. He also told you was truly to go have surgery to fix my face. So in five years, that was in 2018, in five years, their bullying and their violence is still present. Only this time, instead of threatening an old woman, instead of threatening me as they did in 2018, they exhibited, allegedly, again I hate that word, they allegedly exhibited the violence onto a 72-year-old woman by cowardly and viciously pushing her down a long flight of stairs to the point where she is in the hospital and who knows whether or not she will ever, able, she will ever be able to gain full mobility in her left arm. Who knows what will happen. We will keep you up to date on the, victim, on the, on the status of the victim and how she's recuperating. And of course, we will keep you up to date on what happens when the alleged perpetrator, again, I hate that word alleged, but I have to use it, and what happens to her in court. The tenants are presently being evicted. The court case is coming up very shortly. We do not believe that they are going to appear in court because the evidence that you see here before you will be brought to, to the court for the judges to see the actions of these tenants that it did to this old woman.